Hi guys, it's Spider and Dex here with uh, nest number six, a uh, golden favourite. Um, we have four babies in this nest. We did have six, um, but sadly we did lose two, uh, which is very unfortunate. But it's, what it does seem to be is that these babies are quite a lot bigger. So you can imagine the size difference with a newborn. Um, you know, we did try and put the dummy eggs in, but sadly uh, they just didn't make it. We did even try and foster some over, but yeah, it wasn't meant to be. So, focusing on what we do have rather than what we don't have, we have four beautiful babies. So what we have here, and I can tell straight away, is a dominant pied baby. You can tell this by the patch on the back of their head. Uh, there is a obsolete patch, which is a void of any sort of colour. Um, and we also have the markings on the wings there. So dominant pied, <clears throat> um, and those wing markings look to be black. And also we've got some yellow in there as well. So it'll be interesting to see what this baby comes out with if he has any other colours mixed in there um, obviously dad's got that beautiful emerald green on the back of his and he's obviously a recessive pied um, but he has that white yellow body with that beautiful emerald green patch on the back there again with this baby it looks to be very similar again um, with the markings on the wings there a little bit different though got them sort of very very similar on each wing but again the dark wing markings there possibly black wing markings and also the yellow pins there so we know that these two are going to be yellows in regards to this one no colors are actually shown yet but nice and fed nonetheless beautiful baby and obviously this one here now uh, these this pairing does give us um, <laughs> as much that baby's been fed uh, this pairing does give us uh, some white babies so blues um, we've had before which were absolutely stunning one being our most recent um, Sparky, absolutely stunning a beautiful bird, uh, but his parents were both yellow, um, so it was nice to see that we had a little white one in there as well, so we could have some whites in this nest as well, not just the yellows um, but yeah, it's nice and exciting to see, they're growing well healthy, banded Brilliant. So that's nest number six, and that is Sherlock and Anna. Um, now we're going to go over to nest number eight. So we have in num nest number seven, we have four eggs. Um, nest number seven is our exhibition and our standard. Uh, da Vinci and Penelope, they have two foster eggs from nest number three, which is Daenerys and D'Artagnan, and they also have two biological eggs. So amazingly, I'm so excited. We will have, um, excuse me, half exes. Now, I've never had full exes, um, so having half is definitely going to be interesting. So we'll see what those babies come out like, because obviously they're going to be bigger um, than your general standard babies. So if you're interested in a split exe, um, please let me know um, and funnily enough I actually know um, the breeder of uh, the XE I know the bloodline um, just through pure coincidence because um, I actually picked up Da Vinci in a pet shop and because of the Budrigar Society ring on it I managed to find out who the breeder was it turns out that um, the breeder is the daughter of someone who'd actually purchased four babies off me two years ago um, and the babies actually got her really excited into uh, budgies and she is now um, you know a, a very top breeder junior breeder in the country so the uh, exe splits will come of um, show standard uh, bloodline um, obviously you split with the standard uh, pet type as well so that will definitely be interesting so let me know if you've got a preference if you'd like one of those um, we are working through our uh, waiting list at the moment it is ever increasing we are getting more and more uh, people asking to be on it at the moment we're, we're looking at about an eight week wait obviously we are having babies um, fledging any like, sort of any days really every day there's sort of one or one out um, all of our nests have something in them, whether it be babies or eggs. So there is going to be a continuous flow of babies to choose from. So don't worry. If you are on the, on the list, we are checking it regularly. Even when we haven't got anything to offer, we're just reminding ourselves of who is on there. 
um, so we haven't forgotten about you. Um, if you are worried or if you want anything to sort of be clarified, please send us the message. We'll get back to you straight away. Um, so we have got a fledge today, um, but not in this nest. So I'm going to put this nest away and I am going to show you nest number eight. Thanks and say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> See you later, guys.